Hello there, YouTubers. This is Ellery here, and I'm going to give you a quick overview of how I'm interfacing Cody with my home automation system. So you see here I got a NVIDIA Shield Android TV device. It's got a little infrared blinky on the front. Didn't mean to turn that off. But, and on the back I have Gigabit LAN running to it. And so what that allows me to do is actually use infrared for the exit button and the arrows and a select button so I can actually control 4K Netflix, which is a, nat a native Android TV app on the NVIDIA Shield. And seamlessly with that, use the IP control for Cody, and that way I can leverage things like two-way feedback for what song is selected manually and things like that. So I'll give you a quick overview. Here's, here's just a front end for my home automation server. So it actually automatically generates all this. So we'll go into the living room. And so this is the living room AV. So this is a media zone. So you just pass content to this media zone and it'll actually pick the devices down below that are compatible with that content. And here's, of course, Cody. So these are all the buttons that are enabled right now. There's some I haven't added yet to the GUI, but so go in here. We'll just pick some content for you. So you can come here and channels, play ABC in the living room. Okay. So you can look up there and Cody's playing ABC in the living room. So I'm going to go ahead and click stop there. So you notice I click stop using the keyboard connected to the NVIDIA shield. And my home automation server actually knows now that nothing's playing. That's because of this two-way feedback. It's actually getting an unsolicited event from Cody over JSON RPC to kind of track what's playing. So for example, if I take the keyboard again, and I just go to music. I'll just pick an album real quick. And I'll just go with one at the top. All right, so that's playing on Cody using the keyboard directly. But now, as you can see, my home automation system knows that Adele 21 is playing in the living room, which is kind of cool. Not many systems can actually do that. And this remote here is, let me hit stop real quick so you can hear me better. This remote here is an RF based remote. And so for example, when I just hit stop in the living room, it actually sends a, a string to a base station over RF and then that base station will forward that string out over the serial port. This says basically stop living room. And since premise can track the state of whichever source device is selected here, Cody is selected as a source, it'll actually know to go ahead and send stop out to Cody. So that's pretty cool that you're able to do that. Historically, you know, you'd have to go click up here, you know, Cody, and then you'd have to hit stop. For this type of system, you don't even have to worry about that. You just hit, hit what room you're in, great room or living room, and hit stop, and it just does it. Let's see here, what else is neat? We'll hit, show you the movies real quick. And so these are various content types supported by the Cody library. So they're all automatically imported into premise home control using a module I wrote. So if we go to movies, we can kind of pick, pick a movie to play. And so there's the 2D and 3D. So this is a Blu-ray image file here. So we're going to play this guy. I'm going to play him in the living room. So you see there, it says playing the adventures of 1010 2D. Up here, it's working. And that's because it's a Blu-ray image file. So it takes Cody a second to load. And there you go. So we can... Yeah, that was a little goof up there. But again, it is playing pretty, 
it's pretty neat that it's able to play our Blu-ray ISO as smoothly as it does over the network. Although there was a little glitch there. I'm running 15.1 right now. So hopefully Cody version 16 fixes that. But So get hit pause. And then, then just just to finish off the video, we'll go ahead and ask you know, the Amazon Echo to stop it. Alexa, ask Premise to stop the living room. Living room Cody is stopped. And so he has stopped there and and the front end says nothing playing. So that works in a similar manner right to these buttons on the remote. So it knows what room I'm in because I told Alexa, Alexa the, the great room. Alexa, stop. Alexa, stop. Sorry about that. And then it's able to go through and figure out what source is selected because the home automation server actually keeps in sync with each device. And then the home automation server sends the stop command out to Cody. So that's how that works. All right, well, if you like the video, please subscribe and I'll try to do some more how-to videos. Hopefully I can dig up a camcorder I got up in the attic so I don't have to use my shaky cell phone. All right, guys, well, thanks. Have a good day.